my my biggest regret is back in those days, you know, when when all this stuff happened was to to fight it, not fight it, but to like I've recorded all my shows since 1993. Yeah. I don't have to fight anybody on anything. I if know. somebody comes up to me and says, "Hey, you're doing my joke," I could easily go, "What joke is it? When did you tell it?" Let me go look, and then if you did it before me, I'm, I'll stop doing it or whatever it is. Like I've always had that. Yeah, but, but I stayed quiet, and it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And now it's just like that's what it is. Are you all my <laughs> Who opens for you on the road? You take people. I or? take different people. That's I bring what I do. Um, Jade Catapretta sometimes. Who else do I bring? Candace. Candace. Tell, I, used to bring, I like bringing girls. Yeah? Yeah, because guys, sometimes I bring guys and then they try to like bury me. I want them to bury me. I do. I know what you're saying. You're like Mencia in that way. Where Mencia, no, I'm not at all like I know. I know. <laughs> Headline. I'm 100% not like Russell Russell is Carl, no, in the <laughs> only way that you're like him. Just listen to what I have to say, okay? Yeah, but I'm using my own stuff. I, I understand that. That's not what I... <laughs> I know that. You're writing your own jokes. You're an original comic and you're the best. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying in this Can one. Can you give me a different instance? Or I'll give you a different <laughs> fucking. Not, there's got to be a <laughs> Joe Rogan. comic. You're there like you Joe Rogan there you go. in that way. Yeah. Is uh, I mean, this is a this is day late in a dollar show, but I, I really feel bad for uh, Joe Rogan. And, Carlos and Mencia. He put a foot, wow. Joe Rogan really, he, you know, and I know he probably anybody that says is like, on his side or whatever, he probably go fuck you because he went through a lot of shit dealing with Carlos. But Carlos finally just admitted said, to everything. I fucking steal. Why can't we have that clip? We've talked about this two or three times on the show already. It, uh, he, he basically he's admits not, everything. No, not basically. He says, no, I, and, and I'm, his I'm being attitude. Polite. His attitude was this: like, yeah, I fucking steal. If I'm in the back of the fucking room, you better watch your fucking material because yeah, I take yeah. it, remix it, and make it a hit. Just like, like a rap guy. Because I'll add Mexican and I'm going, to it. Well, that means somebody is old royalties, and somebody, <laughs> you made a lot of money mm -hmm. off of these these people that you steal from. But he's justifying by saying if rap artists could take someone's like old they song and make it. it I, I understand, but that's <laughs> that's basically what he was saying. If a rap guy could do that, I could do the same thing the, and make it my own. And the argument against Carlos would be that a joke is contingent upon catching you off guard. Music is not mm -hmm. like a joke has an effect the first time you you know what I mean it's it's, oh, it's a different is. thing. And could you please stop saying joke? This is the thing that kills me. Don't y'all. I'm, I'm reading now. You <laughs> is that a good call? <laughs> back in the, back in the day, people okay, stole jokes. It was like two Jews walked in the bar. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. It was yeah, meant to yeah. be told everybody. Carlos is taking fucking Material. your Other life's analogies, man. Yeah, because these are stories based on your life and. Yeah, you're a little twist on him, and then just like but you said, was, adding Mexican. He was to also it. Well, in. He was also in it, saying, "Hold on, why don't we just play the clip?" Wait, 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 wait. I just want to say you need he, he, he was Yeah, th that he. It, this is not just the clip. He's that. He's in the whole thing, saying, "Here's what the fuck you supposed to be as a comic. If you ain't this as a comic, you ain't shit. If you ain't that as a." And then he says, "I steal," which Damn. nullifies. He doesn't have a position no. on comedy. In, 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 that means that uh, what's those cover bands mm -hmm. don't need to say they're cover bands. Yeah, they could just they say just they're the band. Well, fuck you. I'm I'm Journey. I'm playing. I'm fucking Journey, nigga. I'm Ario Speedwagon. I'm fucking. Well, how about you just no? You have a different name, and you play all their songs and just say and, yeah. And, and just say what? I'm, I yeah. can't believe he did this. My song. Like he admitted it to it. It was <laughs> bad move. And you know. He's a the Carlos is a likable guy, man. I, I like Carlos. I see him. You, you, he's not a yeah. guy. He's one of those guys you can't hate. So it's like, but he really, it, he has no stance on anything else in comedy. He can't say, "Here's my philosophy." Right. When you're a thief, right? Like you're justifying stealing. On there's nothing on any level. But the the, the, the bad part is Rogan was on this and and. You know, they, they ended up pushing him out away like he was a, a nutbag for going this hard. I wouldn't go that hard because there is no justice. Because <laughs> yeah. he's going to still win. My thing is, who I'm mad at, not at the business, I'm mad at any person after he, after he goes, yeah, I fucking steal, you better watch out and this and that, that go see him. Yeah, that's going to go uh, see him. Are now, there right, fans right. that right, do on, that? You know, he's always nice whenever I, I, mean, I don't know him, but he's always nice whenever I see him. Yeah, yeah he just got a. Yeah, I mean, he just had. I guess he was taking material, and that's what people said he was doing. Did you know that he was doing that? Was it that evident, or were you into it? You know, I think I honestly, my, my I don't know that much about it at all. I, I'm going to tell you what, what it is, and um, 
that was a lot of it. But I think equally as bad was him bumping people back in the 90s. Mm. So, you know, back, you know, when you, you know, did you, you went up this weekend, right? At the store? Or last yeah. week sometime? Yeah. What time do you, you get spots? What, 9, 45, 10, right? Yeah, I'm more like 11. 11. So if he gives you an 11 on spot, right? When you show up at the club, you think you're going to get up between 11, 11, 15, right? Yeah. But back in the late 90s, if you had an 11 o'clock spot, it meant people didn't even show up. Wow. Because they knew that they wouldn't be able to get up. Damn. Because they knew that Mencia or Eddie Griffin or some of these guys, and they would do three or four hours on stage. What? Yeah. They let them go? Yeah, they let them go. And they did that every night. And there was like... Mitzi just let him go? Yeah. There was Why? like four or five of them that, that were like... very that. bizarre that she would let him do that. I remember one time Rogan and I, Eddie Griffin went up for hours. And yeah. Rogan and I were in the lobby... Not the lobby, but out in the patio. Mm -hmm. And we're just sitting there. And Rogan goes, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to leave. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, you can't... It's un to think Joe Rogan, what he is now, you know what I mean? But they used to do it to him. Wow. And um, imagine all the people that... Mencia bumped. He bumped. I mean, everyone that's big now, right? Everyone that's a regular now at the store was the people that he bumped for years. A lot of the resentment and hatred that fueled people have their careers. has now it fueled their, them, but it also made them hate the man. Oh, I see. Jesus Christ! It's been it's, forever. It's, it's, and now he admits it, man. It's just and now admitting it like that. And if there's woo. no backlash, and I'm not trying to ride, get, but if there's no backlash from people, that means it's like I'm performing in front of mm -hmm. like <laughs> maybe some people that would that I go. Why don't I just steal? Mm -hmm. Why the fuck don't I just steal material? That's proof. Just like rappers, and I don't condone that yeah. shit. But just like them, I go look. I'm gonna pay some young guy. Who's been in the business six months does has a great premise. I've seen it all the time. Great premise doesn't have the skills to make that shit funny. I've I've been there. There's times when I started where I go, man, I got this great bit, you know, in my mind, but it's just not gonna execute because I'm not good enough to mm. skillfully do it. And so why don't I just give this guy a hundred bucks who needs it? That's his first comedy dollar. Let me take that bit because I see the magic in it. And don't give him a dime. At least Carlos could say, I pay these guys their royalty fee. Yeah. Something. That's yep. what rappers do. They go, look, they don't just go, man, I was sitting in the back of the room and watched James Brown <laughs> and said, this old fool motherfucker, I'm going to make me a song. They got to pay that nigga money, man. Well, okay. And it's a state. But that's, uh, they don't have a choice in that. Thank you. So this is what happened. Go I ahead. get this email the other day from this guy who's a radio DJ in Tucson. Ouch. Who says that Carlos Mencia was talking shit about me on the radio. Do I want to listen to it? I say, okay. So he sends me the audio file. Mm -hmm. And it's Carlos basically saying that um, he uh, came to the comedy store and that he went on after me and that uh, everyone in the comedy store calls him the Punisher. Like, he's completely out of his fucking mind. And that uh, the only reason why everybody says he steals jokes is because they're jealous. Which is insane. Because have you ever heard anybody saying that Chris Rock steals jokes or Dave Chappelle steals jokes? No, but they're more jealous of Carlos Mencia than Chris Rock. All right. Here's the, the problem with this guy. He lives in such a shallow glass house. Carlos Mencia claims to be Mexican. His name isn't even really Carlos Mencia. That's a fake name. His real ethnicity is he's half German and half Honduran. And his real name is Ned Holness. This is real. Wow. This is all real. Mitzi I Shore know invented that. the name Carlos Mencia to ingratiate him with the Latino community of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So this fucking his retard. His name is Ned? Yeah, his name is Ned. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he's got a fake name. I mean, this guy's so fucking stupid. His whole reason, his whole reasoning for why people call him a thief is that they're jealous. They're jealous of him. This fake fucking Mexican living this fake life, stealing people's material. All right, so what he says is basically that... I got the audio, by the way, if you want to go through it. 
Oh, what, him on stage? Yeah, no. Oh, of the, oh, the show? Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. You want to do that or what? It's short We clips. can. Sure, sure, we can go on. Just but what's even better is what I did is I put the audio on my website, and I have a I hired a personal cameraman. So my cameraman happened to be there the day Carlos claims that I was watching him from the stage, and instead what we have is me on stage and him watching me. Pacing around the room, watching me. For, he, the guy imitates everyone, including me, all the time. He steals from everyone, whether it's George Lopez or Paul Mooney or old Richard Pryor albums. The guy's a fucking idiot. And all he does is rehash old, other people's shit or rewrite other people's shit. You know, you do a joke about going to the fucking zoo, whatever it is. And right. if it kills, he'll do a joke about going to the zoo and just rewrite your shit. He's a weak-minded fucking simpleton, and he doesn't know know that people know he's a weak-minded simpleton. Wouldn't it be great to be able to get, like hear this shit and then go like, fucking Rogan, I'm going to kick his ass. But Rogan's such a fucking animal. You can't, you can't <laughs> kick his ass. <laughs> well, I mean, why would you want to kick my ass? Because I'm telling the truth? That's well, the crazy well, thing. I'm not running around saying that great comedians are shitheads. I love comedy. And there's the whole point. The thing that I wrote on my website, JoeRogan.net, the whole thing I wrote this morning at 5 o'clock in the morning with no sleep, is that I'm a huge fan of comedy to this day. Still am. Always will be. You know, if I'm at the comedy store and Chris Rock shows up, dude, I'm the first person who wants to sit down. I want to watch great comedy. Comedy. I love yeah. it. I love somebody who's got a unique point of view. I love somebody who comes up with some new shit that they crafted. I know this guy sat down on his computer and wrote this all out and tried it on stage in 15 different comedy clubs. And, and then, boom, there it is. You're like, whoa. Like, I remember when Rock was at the, uh, the comedy store and he was working out his Oscar shit. Dude, like me and like 10 other guys sat in the back of the room fucking howling, loving it, love comedy. Hate fucking thieves! That's all it is! I hate fucking thieves! Does it fucking infuriate you? I know the kind of, I don't know, Ned. <laughs> Just call him the phony Mexican or Carlos Menstilia. That's what we what, call what him. He's what, what he's talking about, like, the most brutal thief isn't the guy who just takes your whole joke. It's almost like Mad Libs. Like they'll just like say he's saying you go to the zoo and you got a bit about a gorilla. He makes it an orangutan. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 He was taking Dane the Cook shit. did that to he me. He was taking a dump. Dane blah, Cook blah, blah, did blah. that to me. He did it on Premium Blend. He did my joke about fucking tigers. He did it with rhinos. Genius. <laughs> <laughs> fucking genius. <laughs> you know, there's so much of that shit going on. It's fucking insane. It happens in radio all the time, too. Of course it does. Yeah. But the new thing in radio is like, ah, everyone steals from everyone, so it's okay. Fuck that and, it is. You know, I love when accepted. you guys do something, you credit people. That's that's the way to do it. And that, that other douchebag that was, you know, doing his shit on Channel 152 that you guys were torturing for a few oh, days. Oh, Jim Phillips? Oh, yeah. yeah, that How fucking good? idiot. That was that awesome. Was, that was fun, was wasn't beautiful. it? Yes. <laughs> that was beautiful. One of the last shows I listened to before I got a new car and I, I have to get X7 in my new Joe, car. Joe, you ever have somebody come up to you, right? You just did your set, you killed, some bitch just killed and somebody comes up to you and is like, yeah, you know, I used to do some shit like yeah. that. And you know they're oh. lying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to do a bit like that. But it's a little different. You don't have to worry about it. You can still do it. You can still oh, do it. Oh, thank you. you. Oh, they give you permission uh, to do it. minded cocksucker. You know, you know what the best one I ever got? I had a guy actually say, you know what? I was thinking of doing some shit like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's even, funny. It's just like, you. what, after I said it? And then, <laughs> coincidentally, they bring back their old material that they it's never so did brutal. in the first place because they now set it up and by saying that... Uh, they used to do that material. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> and what's really brutal is comedy clubs don't do anything about it, man. I mean, it's just the most frustrating thing in the world for a comic to know that your art, what you do, what you put out, is supporting this club, keeping it together. But these people are like fucking cannibals, and they they hire these scumbags, these fucking thieves. These just fucking simpleton cocksuckers who can't come up with anything. These weak-minded motherfuckers who just just rehash your shit. And these comedy clubs hire them, and they expect you to all work it out. They expect I've, ha I've actually heard that argument. Hey, you guys got to work that out with yourself. You fucking no! He's a thief. You fucking no! No one calls someone a thief that's not a thief. There's not one person I've ever heard called a thief that's not a thief. <laughs> Have you? Have you ever heard one person called a thief that's not a thief? It doesn't exist. 
There's thieves and there's regular comedians, but those thieves, they fucking make it through. They sneak through the net somehow or another because the comics don't do anything about it, because the club owners don't do anything about it. These motherfuckers, they swim upstream and they make it. Yeah. And they have millions of dollars and they're driving fucking fancy cars and everybody goes, well, you're just fucking jealous. And you're just sitting there going, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Is this for real? Is this for real? 